to continue with the sequences uh, we'll take a new job now we'll uh, take a new job and in that job we'll discuss with job activity we sorry we discussed with job activity we'll discuss with some other uh, activity like sequencer activity i'll tell you what is a major role of uh, sequencer activity but it is very simple the it would be very simple okay so this is one job condition this is one job condition uh, i'll tell you and uh, first i'll call some jobs here copy operator job i'm calling so in trigger's condition i have two output links one is ds link 5 and one is ds link 7 ds link 5 which is for other activity and ds link 7 is which is for sequencer activity okay ds link 5 i am making it as okay and uh, i am making okay for sequencer activity even here also i am making as okay but i am calling the job copy operator job Uh, it is like finished status. Remove duplicate job is also finished status. Okay. And next, I'm going to have another job. I'm going to call. that is sample load job and i want to just go through the status finish the status only and the execution action i am not bothered of it i know because it will not fail but still i am just making what we do in the real cases we'll uh, go with reset if required then run and i'm going to call another activity i'll call another activity i have another uh, third activity fourth activity i'm sorry uh, that activity even will call a job and that would be a transformer job that is aborted okay now it will run then now it will run because i changed the property values okay now sequencer activity what purpose we use the sequencer activity means see we have only mode sequencer mode is equal to all any what is meant by all and what is meant by any that is like end operator and the or operator end means what whatever the jobs that we have given as an input those jobs should execute successfully what the trigger condition you mentioned and after that this should execute after that the output of the sequencer activity should execute that's what the job condition i want to give so i'm compiling and it is asking to save the job on the sequencer i'll just create a sequencer activity activity sequencer activity job 2 again sequencer activity job 2 so it is compiling now if i try to run in the director you see what will happen i am running this uh, sequence second uh, second sequence activity first job is copy operator it will execute next it is uh, executing remove duplicate job and next it will execute the job that is the flow that is the flow that i have given here that is the flow that i have given here sample load job should execute now okay it got finished okay today it started finished okay 
So it went to transformer load job and it finished successfully. So here, one after the other, for example, see, I'm mentioning it as any. I'm mentioning one of the job as any. Okay, first I'll mention with the all only. I'll go to the job and I'm going to give a condition, wrong password, means the job will abort. The job should abort. I have compiled it. I, if I don't compile even, no, because I should compile, at least because uh, even though if you put reset if required, for the first time, if you do any changes in the job, 100% you should compile. And once you are doing sequences, your development is done, you don't do any changes. And here I have what activity, any mode. I don't want mode any, I want mode all. So now if you try to go ahead and see the transformer stage loop job will not execute. The copy operator job is running. And after that, remove duplicate job will run. After completion of that, sample load job should compile. Because I compiled, no, it should run. It should abort it. Now, see the third job is going to run or not? It's not going to run. It is finished status because the third activity is not OK, not finished with OK. That is the reason it is not running the other job because I given all operator. If I say any operator, if I say any operator, now see, now this th third now the target uh, third job fourth job transformer job loop will execute we'll see now so all and any means the input uh, activities whatever you given for sequence all the sequ all the activities should run successfully with the trigger condition then only it will go and execute the out of uh, sequence activity what we given the job uh, activity in that job activity what job is present the job will run Okay, here what happened? Uh, um, it did not run. I given okay condition. India have given. Transformer job had executed or not? Did not execute because these are showing 10 3. So that after this job it should run, but it did not execute. Okay, okay, what I'll do? What I have made is one after the other I have made. That is one thing. And the trigger condition I given OK. Due to that, the job did not run. Did it run with any or did it run with all? Uh, any only I ran. OK, that also we can see in the sequence activity. Job run requested. So what's the job? Copy operator job. Start, finish, status is equal to one, finished. Then copy operator job report on the job. The job uh, log it has given. Next job is requested. Finish status, did not finish, okay status, finished with the warnings. Okay, transformer job loop. That ran with uh, this today's job even. I mean, in this job, even it ran one, two, three, four, three, four jobs are given. The fourth job, waiting for sample job load to start. Okay, I given reset if required, then run. That text is aborted. I get it one to run. That is the log it has given. Initial status 21 has been reset. Transformer job got executed or not? According to me, it should execute. They are executed. Mm 
This is job run request. Transformer job look. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I just forgot. Uh, what happens here? I given what? Any. So when I given any, once the copy operator is successful, I'll just run again. I haven't observed, I guess. Okay, if I if I go back again, it will be fine. I given any, right? So it will not wait until the last job to complete with that status. We'll see now. After completion of the copy operator job, only the transformer job should run. Yes, see. Uh, that's what I did not observe before, and that's my mistake. Uh, I have mentioned any, right? It will not wait until these three jobs to complete because any, if I give all, then it should wait for completing these three jobs. Then, based on that status, it will run with the transformer. Uh, my, my mistake, I'm sorry. So, all and any will work in this way. So, what is the benefit is that if you give n number of jobs as an input to job activities into the sequence here. To the sequencer, if you put any, it will not wait until the uh, last job to complete. One uh, uh, job is successful with the trigger condition immediately to run with this. And if you say all, even though it completed, but it will wait for this job and this job afterwards, this job, then it goes to this third job, fourth job, job activity. So this is what uh, uh, all and any with sequencer activity. So when do you go for this cases is based on the requirements. Okay, for example, uh, if you want to reset your password, you have multiple options. One is your uh, reset your password for a Gmail or if you want to read, set the password to Gmail, uh, you forgot and if you want to get it. What is the process? You can provide either your mobile number, either you can provide your record email. So these are two process. If any one of them is success, then you can reset your password. It, but in some cases, what happens in some bank accounts or something, both you need to provide. So the activity, what you are doing accordingly, the sequence activity options will be there. For example, if you want to record the password of your Gmail, one, one verification is success is fine. In that case, any operator will work. So the job uh, within the activity will be like uh, your password, reset password process. So like that we can, um, Reset, use the sequence activity to get uh, the process to be completed. Okay, so this is what about your sequencer activity. All and any. If I don't provide this, even no problem. There will be no order. Only the or the link, the trigger, trigger condition from one activity to another activity, if you provide what will happen, it is like uh sequence first this job should run next this job should run and next the third job should run if i don't give any trigger condition to these uh job activities what we like they'll execute parallel they'll execute parallel so that's you need to make your understand of this process okay now uh, i'll go for uh, i'll call one more job I'll go to the repository in the parallel job. And uh, did I use any job for parameters? I have a parameter job, I guess, right? We'll go to that parameters job once. Job five. Okay, so these all jobs are having parameterizations, right? Now, if I call an activity in the activity, for example, I'll take another activity. I'll call a job like, and before to that, I just want to show you one thing. I have called one copy operator job in this job. I don't have any parameters. See here, the parameters concepts in the job run you don't see anything enabled because you don't have any parameters in the job. But now you are calling a job which is having a parameters within that job. So this is your param parameter set, parameter set, set to default I'm specifying. Okay. 
ओके एंड ट्रिगर कंडीशन अनकंडीशन इस पैन ओके आई विल पुट अदरवाइज unconditional put because of this parameters and all okay i'll just copy i'll run and uh, it you, here you can perform see these are set to default i have given so this is your parameters uh, uh, parameter set values so if you are running any environment test you uh, test environment you can give test a dev environment dev and production environment provide production accordingly it will take the values if you want to change them here also you can change here also in the job level this job activity level which you are calling those will be overcome with the job act, job parameters means in the job uh, parameters you defined but if you want to provide some value for in this uh, job activity in this job activity so th these values will overcome the parameters within the job what you have okay so that is one thing i want to just make sure so in the job activity if you call any job uh, in the in the job activity if you call the job and if the parameters are present at random you can pass at the job level in this way and there is other way where you can call through you were uh, there is another way to where you can call through the execute command activity okay but now if you see this is your flow calling the parameters into the job so this is what about the sequencer activity and the calling the parameters in your job the uh, sequencer activities sequencer jobs okay so in the next session we'll see with some other topics thanks for watching this video thanks for your time